from the home, y'all, and she's not there. You know, you know, know. Oh, oh wow! I'm literally myself and everything. Oh, <laughs> wow. <I'm home>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, whoa, let's go outside. Mm. <laughs> Hey guys, it is Gerds, a part of the Jean Twins, the Jean Twins if you ask me, and I'm going to be up with Gina from the hospital. She texted me saying that she's in the hospital, and I was like, what? So I called her. I had no idea what was going on because her phone had really bad signal. Um, literally, I got to church, and I saw her text, but she texted me right after I left to head to church, so I wish I just would have seen it. So I'm driving there now. I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, let's see what, let's see what happens. So hey you guys, I'm with Angina. So this video doesn't look like normal videos because we don't have our tripod or anything like that with us. Um, we don't have our lighting or anything like that since we weren't prepared. Up. It's a cute opera or anything. Yeah, so I guess it's uh, where is, story time. Where, where is he yeah. supposed to be going? <laughs> Um, basically, I got my COVID shot on Friday, and I was, like, it was, I got it at 10 in the morning, then what time did we get home? Maybe, like, 1? Maybe. Yeah, we got home around 1, because we ran some errands after, and then I was, like, in a lot of pain, and I was just like, girl, I mean, I'm used to being in pain because I have scoliosis, but I was just like, oh my god, this is unbearable, and... <sighs> I was like, I fell twice at home. I felt like the old person, you know. I fell twice. Um, I was just, I was having chest pains, which is usual for me, but it was hurting more than usual. And then I was also, I, I'm, I started feeling hot. I was catching a fever, and I had to take 650 milligrams of Tylenol. I had to take it like three times. I had, to, yeah, I had, to, I had to take it every eight hours. And so I was like, okay, I'm supposed to be working Saturday and Sunday, 16 hours on Saturday, 16 hours on Sunday. So I was like, you know what, let me just be, on, like, be honest with myself, you know, be realistic. I'm not going to be too going to work. And I don't want to push myself too hard. So then I call my supervisor and she tells me, call the other co-workers and I basically tell her that I can't come into work. And so I wanted to try to come into work today. And this morning I was still having chest pains, which is usual, so I didn't think nothing of it. And then I woke up with my coworkers over me, sitting like standing over me. And I'm like, what happened? They're like, you, you passed out on the stair. And um, I then next thing you know, EMS took me, and now I'm at the hospital. Okay. You passed out on the stair. Yeah. Did you hurt yourself? I don't know. I passed out. I hope not. <laughs> Do you feel like you hurt yourself? No. I'm always in pain, so nothing new. Oh, <laughs> yeah, this is my first time hearing this story, so I didn't pass out on the stairs. Like, mm -hmm. You couldn't find a more convenient place to pass out? The EMS guy was just like, why don't you just next time take the elevator? <laughs> I was like... <laughs> Well, the if I found the elevator, time, you might be screwed. No one noticed. Exactly. Might be stuck on the elevator. I'm not even well. like the one time I tried to get my exercise. Mm -hmm. like, that's why I tell everyone exercise is not worth it. I tell everyone that they don't believe me. Don't listen to her, y'all. We have workout Wednesdays and Fitness Fridays coming back soon for y'all. <laughs> but yeah, it was so funny because I sent out a resident in the morning, right? Um, I sent her out for him. Yes. She was having like acid and she was trembling, mild tremors, and um. <laughs> then the same EMS that picked up the resident, they came out. They're like, "What did the nurse that just sent us a resident?" I'm like, what? yeah. They're like, "We come back for you now." They're like, "Now we come back for you." They're you like, need nah. to be a patient, not just a nurse. They're, yeah, they're like, they're like, nah, this ain't. They're, they're like, this ain't real. Then they, it was something because the other, like, one of the, the three guys, the guy's like, "Wait, didn't you paint last year too?" I was like, "He's like this month." I'm just like, "This month? Oh, you painted this month last year?" Oh, well, February. Like oh wow! Late, late February. I'm just like, so it's been over a year. I'm proud of you. Thank you. I was just like, you have amazingly horrible. I'm like, you have amazingly great memory, but it's horrible for me. Oh, mm. heads up. <laughs> she has neurocardiogenic syncope, so mm -hmm. fainting for her is normal. Yeah, and the pain with her chest is normal because she has 
tricuspid atresia, but it hasn't happened in a while. She's been doing a lot better. So she just recently went to her doctor, what, last month, and her doctor took her off to two of her meds, so she only takes one med, um, one medication out of three, because she's been doing so well. Mm -hmm. She's been doing so well partly because I'm here to take her happy, and another yeah. part because um, uh, been workout working out. Wednesday is yeah. the fitness Friday, so. And all of a sudden, she took the COVID shot, and here she is. Like, um, I guess I took it so that, you know, because getting COVID, I imagine, would be way worse. However, that shot was the worst pain I've ever felt. It was, uh, yeah, there's just a few things to know before you get the before you get the shot. And my coworkers kept scaring me. They're like, oh, somebody died getting the shot. You shouldn't take the shot. I'm like, you guys told me that a little too late after I got the first shot. So I end up having to, I'm like, I have to get the second shot. You know, then there's no point in the first. So... Yeah, you take it within like what three weeks of each other? Mm hmm. Yeah. Took the first in February, took the last one March 5th. I'm supposed to be working until 10 p.m. So, 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. I mean, I hope they find coverage. She is such like a workaholic where she'd be fitting bad when she's not at work. I'm like, girl, forget them. Mm -hmm. She missed work yesterday because of the shot. Mm -hmm. She had a headache. She felt like she had a fever. She had like the tremors and she was like shivering and cold. It was so cold. I thought she had COVID. And I thought, oh yeah, she just took a shot. But suppose you could, they gave me a COVID test today in the hospital. They said, I'm like, I just got the COVID vaccine. Please don't, like, please don't do this to me. Because <laughs> they're going up my nose and that's so uncomfortable. Y'all know that hurts. What time did you faint? 10 in the morning. What time did you get here? 10.30. When did they take your tests? 11. It is now 2.18 to be exact. Ready to get yeah. out of here. Came to me, she said. Oh, I'm here to take your test and... Okay, I'm just like, can you let the nurse know that, you know, I'm ready to go. I already spoke to my cardiologist and he was just like, if they're, you know, you're ready to, you're ready to go, just have me, you know, set up an appointment with me this week. It's like, you should be fine as long as the test results came back negative. So, I'm like, okay, they didn't tell me anything. So, I'm like, if the test results came back negative, they should have already told me, right? Did they get it the same day? Yeah. So why did it take days to call people? Let's do it again. So I'm just like they didn't tell me nothing. So I'm like clearly I'm in the I'm in the clear, you know. So can I go? She's like, oh okay, I'll talk to your nurse right now. To, so she's like, let's tell her about your allergy, anyways. She never came back. That was twelve. Twelve almost one. And it's like, oh okay. <laughs> I was gonna go against medical advice, but I'm like, let me not. They did not feed her, did not want to give her any water. She asked for water how many times? Three times. Yeah. So I brought her food. Because the girls are not starving, so. And keep in mind, though, when you take this shot, you should always be hydrated and always eat a lot. Mm -hmm. When you take the shot, you're going to have you stay in the same area for 13 minutes just to see the reaction. Yeah. But they say the reaction time is only supposed to be 24 hours, but I mean, they forget that everyone's different. We're all different bodies and every body reacts different. Okay. So they are now discharging her, so about to head out. Yeah, I almost left the cords. <laughs> <laughs> what, what did you guys ask me that should just like, oh, they don't give you a bag for stuff? I was like, nah, I'm, if, I was in the hallway, there's so many people right here, I'm a second class citizen. Ah. Are, you, are you keeping your blood? I'm still keeping your blood. I don't know, do you not know how to blood? <laughs> do you need your blood? You guys, you guys they gave her a vial of I don't know how to I don't be doing this. You know, a vial, but do you do you just leave your blood here before just take your blood? I don't know. I, let's just take the blood girl since you're a little stuck. I don't know if they have blood. vampires. Like, what do they do here? I don't take this. That's free. You can maybe sell in the black market or something. <laughs> My bare bottoms are to the world, but okay. Oh, they're not. I see your bare bottoms. <laughs> I don't need to hear him talking about it. That's why she's worried. Ooh. Why do you have this? Huh? Why why do I have, have this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't discharge me of anything. So. Why did she leave all this stuff? That's what I'm saying. You know, she left it off me. It's like she literally was just like, okay, you're free to go, honey. Took out the butterfly needle, and then that was it. The EKG um, cords are all over me. This was all over me. <laughs> we are leaving the hospital finally. I was here since 10 a.m. It is now, what time is it? 3 36. So, I've been here for five hours. 
yeah, I can't wait to get home and just knock out. What do you wish you would have known before taking the public test? I know one. You wouldn't have gone to work today. Everyone kept telling me not to go to work because I was feeling better yesterday, like in the afternoon. But then it came tonight and I was just like, yeah, it's coming back now. I guess because the, the Tylenol were out. What I wish I had known was that it's going to be painful. They say it's like them literally putting corona in your body. I don't know, guys. But it's going to be painful. You're going to need a few days to recuperate. And like some people will tell you 24 hours they're going to pressure you into recuperating. Don't allow them to pressure you into you know, rejuvenating your body. Like Allow your body time to rest because honestly, it's not worth it. You know, and I, I mean, I wish I had allowed my body to, time to rest. I wish I had not pressured myself because then I would not be in this predicament. Um, also that you're, they're going to have you stay in the area for 15 minutes before you go. After, right after your shot because they want to see how it reacts to you. And the first time you take, the first shot you take, they ask when, when you're taking your second shot, they ask how your first reaction was, how your reaction was to the first shot. Depending on your reaction to the first shot, they're not going to give it to you. And depending on if you had any flu-like symptoms or corona-like symptoms from your first shot, they, you will not receive your second shot. Also, the second shot, it is, I think it hurt more than the first shot. Like, the after effects, because the first shot, it was just like I had muscle pain. Like I had arm soreness, which was expected because even after the flu shot, you like I always have like my arm is always hurting. The arm that I get the flu shot on, and after this shot, my arm was hurting, and like it was it was just way worse. I was not able to walk. I ended up falling twice. Um, I was running a fever. Uh, I had to take Tylenol three times a day, six fifty milligrams. So. 3 says 50 times 3, that's a lot of Tylenol for one day, that's not really good for your body. Um, yeah, it's just a lot of that. Would you ever get the COVID shot, Kurt? No. It's not FDA approved. Um, it, it's a really, it's just, it's happened really quickly. Like, how do you guys find a shot that quickly? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, honestly, I'm applying for a position in DC, so on the capital, so I feel like I might have to take it since I don't need a position. Um, if I can take it, of course, I'm gonna take it. I'm like, oh no, I'm not gonna fall my dreams with a COVID shot. You're right, but um, if I can avoid it, I will. So I'm, I'm happy and I'm, like blessed that right now I won't have to take it. It makes me really happy. job was given the option if it was not mandatory however it was highly encouraged I just decided to take it because just the way I feel like corona is being planned out like about now not really planned out about but as in like the precautions we're taking towards it is not as it used to be taken towards or even if I do as much as I can it has to be a group effort I feel like if I am around not family-wise, but other aspects of my life aren't as precautious with it. So I was just like, in order to protect myself with my heart condition, um, with all my health complications, I did not want to risk it. So uh, hopefully today's the last day of it affecting me. I'm going to take tomorrow to recuperate. I already let my teacher know. I'll probably honestly just be, I want to just be sleeping tomorrow, but no, we're going to be Tomorrow. We're going to be working on bringing y'all con- content. So. Yeah, we have to edit this video and have like, we honestly have three more videos to edit. Mm-hmm. Yes, y'all can see in my eyes, I'm like drained of sleep. Mm-hmm. Just a heads up, you guys, our monetization like deadline is coming up very soon, like a month. Yes. So please, you subscribe, guys, subscribe, watch, subscribe. Please, like you guys are watching and not subscribing. Please subscribe, comment, like, share, share, save to playlist, download, whatever. Um, And also please follow us on our various other social media accounts. So that is Instagram, Facebook, 
Snapchat, Snapchat, Twitter, Pinterest, and that's all at the James Twins. Alrighty, guys. Oh, and TikTok. Oh, yeah, don't forget about our TikTok. Yeah, TikTok. We've been getting some views, so go over there and, you know, check out what all our hype is about, okay? Yeah. Um, let's see the scenery. A bird pooped on Gertz's car. The disrespect. When? I don't Look, on your window, on your windshield. Oh, hey. She is knocked out. Somebody get our stuff and her. And her. That was me. Come on. How's she going to get me when she weighs the same as me? 